everybody, it's me again, and welcome to another episode of Black Flag Shenanigans. I have just finished reading... Where is it? This thing. All of it. I know I said I was going to continue reading the last half of it in my previous episode, but I did finish reading it, and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I was recording the gameplay, but not my face, so that means not my voice, and I'm freaking stupid, so I figure I will just paraphrase. Basically, her father went to prison for, I think, three years? And then when he was released, for whatever reason, he went completely batshit insane. He wouldn't eat, he would barely talk, except when he would just break down into random screams. And eventually, he was on the tower of some castle in Prague, and he shouted out to some godlike person to save him from the fall. He jumped off the tower and obviously died. And then Elizabeth Jane Weston, she got married to someone named Johannes. And as a, a betrothal gift, she got a painting from Uncle John of the three goddesses, which were Juno, Minerva, and Venus. And in the letter that came with the painting, Uncle John tells Elizabeth that you might think this is just an allegory or, or you know, in, of artistic license, but it's not. They say, like, that this gold orb that one of the goddesses was holding in her hand, three guesses to what it is, is absolutely real. And then the data stream is terminated. And that's it. That's all that's left. That's basically a very short, uh, paraphrasing of what happened. And hold on, let me check. I might have missed something huge. I don't know, I forget if I read it in the last episode or the episode before. Right, before before uh, her father was sent to prison, uh, she he brought her, brought Elizabeth to Prague Castle to see his workshop. He was frustrated because he couldn't get it to work. And then he and a bunch of other alchemists met with the Emperor, and they were talking about this weird monster that's been going around the city, saying that it's it wanders around even in daytime and it kills people. Um, they say he's a monster, a giant, as it says there. Some say he's not even human. Right, and then they go back to the last alchemist's house to talk. Um, and, but Elizabeth gets bored of waiting because they're talking forever, so she goes out into the alley next to the guy's house, and she bumps into an invisible wall with, and then white eyes appear at her, which is basically what it says right here. And then, um, the silhouette of a giant, marks cover the monster's pitch black forehead, but they're letters, E-M-E-T. And then she asks what it is, and they say that he's been called many things, but here they call him Golem. And then, just as uh, her father shouts for the guards, he says, you've saved your father's life, little one. And then he runs towards the river, jumps in, and disappears. But then, he was in prison for three years, and then blah blah blah, I already told you all that. And then that's pretty much it. And that was the last one. Well, now what do I do? There has to be something else. That was so anticlimactic. I didn't even get an achievement for it. Here we go. This is my cubicle. Wow, I have quite a few trophies. Let's go back in and finish up this episode of Black Flag Shenanigans. Uh, yes. Okay! And we're here in Tulum to look for that treasure. I do. Okay, so... Pull up the map. It's down here. Somewhere. I think. For the sake of not running through Tulum doing absolutely nothing, we're gonna fast travel to this viewpoint and see if I'm correct. Well, hello, Jaguar! I want to jump on its head. Ha da da! I want to skin it. <laughs> That's a cool way to get down from a viewpoint. Oh, I'm not even on the right beach. I need to be down here. Okay, we'll just set a random marker. Let's head over that way. Oh yeah, I see it. That piece of ship right there. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah, here we go. It's right here. Aha! I found it. 
Once we get back on my ship, I'm gonna change my outfit and do all that stuff again. Yeah. This is the elite heavy shot? No, I got that already. At right, Mysteriosa, what's here? One upgrades. Hey. Oh, I was so close to just killing him on impact. God dang it, I instinctively mashed B. Screw you, bitch! I'm not gonna waste a bullet on you. Thank you for the extra pelt, though. <laughs> oh, I wanted to go to that one. 55, 178? That's gotta be kind of close to here. Sort of. Oh, it's in here? Okay, well, we won't go for that just yet. We're gonna continue the Templar hunt with Opia. Just because. Hello, my beautiful Jack. Daw! I love this game so much. Everything I ever wanted in an Assassin's Creed game. A great story with a great character and a shit ton of stuff to do after you're done with the story. Yeah! I mean, plus it's Assassin's Creed. Where can you go wrong with that? <laughs> We're gonna put on... <laughs> Let's put this on. I did this in the footage that I lost. We're gonna put on the Edward the Legend outfit and then turn on a cheat. Where it's like, arr, and he says stupid stuff. But okay, I'm gonna keep my sword and pistol sets because, I mean, I have Altair swords and I want to use them in-game. And outside the game. Let's see. What are we gonna put on? Let's put on the Kraken stuff. In honor of me finding the giant squid. Kraken. 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 There! Okay! We're back! And we're gonna go to Grand Cayman, which is straight this way, if I'm not mistaken. Not quite straight, but close. Let's see, secrets? No secrets, but there is- Oh! <gasps> There's a shanty! Oh, I need to get a shanty. It's probably gonna be one I've never heard of, but still, I love shanties. I love learning new ones. Look at that crack in sails. Aren't they cool? I feel like I've been playing a different game. Going from present day to in the Animus, I feel like I'm playing two completely separate games. And I love it. a really tall sister. Just saying. <sighs> this game is... <laughs> it's beautiful! I can't even imagine what this looks like on next gen because this is already near incomprehensible to me, just how beautiful this game is. I still have no mortar, correct? Yep. <laughs> well, there's a white whale location. If there's any friends with that I have on Xbox Live that are watching this. There you go. People said it was so hard to find white whales. I... I guess if you're actively looking for them, it might be difficult, but I've never had any trouble. Come at me! I'm gonna ram you! Eh. And then... Heavy shot. That's like my routine for fighting Briggs now. Is chain shot them from behind as they turn around to fight back, ram them in the side, and then just heavy shot him. <laughs> See if I can actually hit something from this distance. Ah! Uh, wow. That was a failure. Oh! Oh! I think I can do this! Oh, I missed. Damn it. I got 9 out of 10 to go! What are you doing, Edward? Oh! Victory! I'm actually supposed to be doing that initiates thing, too. How's that going? Oh, it logged me out. Gee dang it. I gotta find it again. Go to current mission. 
Make a run, you lime juice squeezes running down to Cuba. Ten guards with the hidden blade while undetected. I, I still need, I think, bad. either one or two more before I can go to stage two. So let's attempt to do that, shall we? Maybe on Grand Cayman we can kill some people. <laughs> I've never been to Grand Cayman. I'm quite excited. Especially to do this Templar hunt. I'm really sorry I lost the Vance Travers one. That one was so funny. Especially, I think it was the third one. Where he got drunk. Oh, that was hilarious. And Edward's like rolling his eyes like, oh my god, I don't believe this. That was freaking hilarious. And I was I was pretty much just laughing the whole, through the whole thing. Let's go see Opia, wherever she is. This place looks awesome. I thought I saw something out my window. That was creepy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Look at that again. Oh, Opia. Wow, you're right here. One tavern, one viewpoint, two contracts, six chests, shanty, and three fragments. All right. Hello, Opia. So, uh, the weather could be better, right? Templar ships. Opia. And how are we today? Surprised. We did not think you would keep your word. Tell us, why do you expect to find your magic key here? It holds an irresistible attraction to Templars, if that is who bought these ships. We don't know what the Templars could want here. These people lead simple fishing lives. Or perhaps not so simple. I'll go and have a meal and see what we can find out. Alvin. Okay, so I guess I'm just looking for a chipmunk. Or just listening for a guy screaming, Alvin! <laughs> Chickens! Or don't, don't jump for the tree branch? I didn't know there were stairs there. Hello! There we go. Alright, he's around here somewhere, is he? No! No. Let's go up here. Get a bird's eye view with things. Oh, there he is. She? Your old catch? You must have made a fortune. I did. But you know, this is exactly why they call me the King of Fishermen. Git. Who calls you that? Oh, don't be jealous. Jealous? I'm not jealous. Apparently Alvin is not even a chipmunk, it's I'll a sheep. I'll show you a bill of sale if you like. Senorita Marquez's right-hand man, Vargas, signed it himself. She's using his home as her headquarters. I even met her there when I delivered the fish. You see, Alvin is practically nobility now. <laughs> A noble fisherman? Indeed. Oh, no, so it's not Alvin. Steal the ledger. Okay, we'll have to go about this quietly. That is not quietly. <gasps> Edward! Don't jump on everything! Okay. Ooh, yeah! Okay, I did get it. Okay, good. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> awesome. Mission two. Okay. Well, since we're here, let's go ahead and get the tower and probably kill some more people, even though I'm telling Edward numerous times not to. This animation again? <laughs> you asshole! I think the most ridiculous thing about Edward the Legend's robes- I mean, I wore them before- Oh, Jesus, hello. Why'd you do that, man? Why'd you keep breaking his neck? See, you know, you almost had it there. But, uh... Like... The one thing... That seems like- I've worn these- I wore- I can't even talk. I wore these robes before, and when I put them on the first time, I said that they looked way less ridiculous than I thought they would. But then I read, like, the bio, like, the description of the outfit, and it says Edward actually wore this in the last years of, like, his pirate career. And it's like, okay, n now, now it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait around to see how this ends. Why? Captain Kenway, is it not? Let's get a chest or two while we're out here, and then go and find Opia again. Eh. Where are you? There you are! Loot it, please. Thank you. 
Hi, fat ass. It's my cat. In case you were wondering. Get off it. Here we go. There's another one in there. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get it. Jumping down and climbing up. Jumping down and climbing up. How do we even get in there? Right here. Okay. Eh. Okay, so we're gonna get this one fragment over here, and then we're gonna go visit Opia again. Because I want to. There you are. Yeah! Got it. Okay. Opia, my dear! There she is. Eh. Hello! Were you successful? I kept overhearing this name. Marquez. <gasps> Friend of yours? Her name matches that of the man who destroyed that were village. We fought and lost, but the leader did not live to enjoy his victory. You think this woman is related? If she is, we are not safe. The bill of sale we stole gives the address of a man in her employ. Vargas. I saw. I know where it is. Let's pay the bait boy a visit. Find out what he knows. Follow us. Okay. You Is this try to woman like a multiple personality deforce or something? I've got some Just idea. Deforce no, disorder? It's more than your key. There are those who say that Aino are already extinct. We will never be extinguished. Our fight continues. Okay, so it's this guy. No, it's not this guy. <laughs> Let's keep going. I assume this is the haystack I would wake up in if I drank too much ale. Here it is. The home of Vargas. Hide. We'll use the element of surprise to our advantage. Okay. You must hide. Hide. Oh. I didn't even think of the haystack. I'm stupid. There we go. Hola. State your business. I hope for an audience with Senorita Marquez. Oh. Out the back door. Chase him. I will chase him. Catch Vargas. I will catch the man. Another Get problem. back here, you asshole. So long as he doesn't get stuck on all the freaking stuff. Oh, don't go to your ship. Don't go to your ship. Don't go to your ship. I got him. <laughs> or maybe I didn't. Ah, oh, fuck my life. I need the jackdaw. Go towards the jackdaw. I guess this is where they implemented that one gameplay demo I saw. Eh, eh, eh. Hey guys, we got someone to chase. It's been a while since we have we've had a naval chase. What'd you say? He's getting away. Hurry. Where? Get after him. Don't let him get away. Okay, I won't. But where are you? I don't have any mortar. This would be greatly useful. Come here, you asshole! We're gonna get some brig on brig action here. I'm gonna ram you up your buttocks. Eh. Oh, there you are. I see you standing down there. I will. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. There we go. Reduce distance to target. Well, he's right there. Didn't I have a little fun? I... I did it. Out with it, lad. Where's Marquez? Why is she here? She's already left for Juvel Jude. So Find her there if you must. Her army will teach you a lesson. Who went to this island of our enemies? If Lucia Marquez has gone there, it is certain we are her target. How many enemies do you have? When you're hunted, it sometimes seems that every stranger is an enemy. On Juventud, we have been a true since the death of the first Marcus. But this woman could reignite our dispute if her price is high enough. Ah, can't have that. I take this ship. Meet me there if you still want your key. I'm going to Juventud now. Interesting. Where is Juventud? 
Is there a possibly... I guess I can continue 100%ing Grand Cayman now. We're back! We're gonna 100% this place, include getting an assassination contract, which we might actually have to save for next time, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's go get this viewpoint, first things first. Shut up! I'm having fun. Can you say the same? Bitch. There are two unannounced Ubisoft games coming this year. There are supposed to be five. Uh, five games in total, and three of them have been announced. Watch Dogs, Just Dance, and I think... What was the other one? Well, there's Child of Light, but that that's not one of the three. And then they said there were two other unannounced or unrevealed games. One of them is obviously an Assassin's Creed game. And the other one is rumored to be a second Assassin's Creed game, but I haven't heard any confirmation on that whatsoever. That one of them was going to be current gen and one of them was going to be next gen, but I haven't heard any actual confirmation from Ubisoft themselves saying that. So, I don't know. I mean, as much as I love this franchise, I hope that the second unannounced game, the one that could be or could not be an Assassin's Creed game, I'm hoping it isn't. An Assassin's Creed game because one game a year for this is enough for me. It's more than enough for me. So I really hope there's not two. If there is two, I'm gonna be broke. Any anything more than one a year is just not a good idea. I'm sure it seems like a good idea for them because it gets the money, but the twin dilemma, ooh, the Thompson brothers known as Templar smugglers, are visiting the Cayman Islands to conclude a lucrative deal. Find them and put an end to their schemes. Okie dokie. I also want to buy a new outfit while I'm here. I want to get the, uh... Is it the merchant outfit? It's got, like, the yellow hood. I want to, I want to get that. Also the crimson cloak. Oh, wow! He's actually here in the city! Okay, so he's over by the tavern. So we'll go ahead and do that right now, then, while he's close. There's one. Oh, so this is where that demo took place. Damn. Maybe from the other way? I'm totally inconspicuous in this totally awesome outfit. It is blocked from the other way. Excuse me. No, I'm just gonna kill somebody. I'm not mad, I'm just killing somebody. Do you mind? Maybe I'll get this fragment while I'm here. Or not. You know what? Yes, while I'm here. Let's go ahead. There we go, that was easy. So I could totally do this. Like the demo. Where I can just sneak up, blend at the bar, and then just freaking smash his face in. But you guys have already seen that. So let's do something else. This could get me one unsuspecting hidden blade kill. I feel like uh, no. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. Hi, stay up. You try to shoot at me. Excuse me. Move out the way. Move. I don't care about your wealth and influence, jerk. Yeah, here we go. He's gonna go up on his ship. Dead lives mean nothing to me. It was a job, nothing more. I wonder if I got a stealth bonus for that because I killed the other one unsuspectingly. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy laughing. Ow! Oh, gee. Whoa. Okay, I sleep darted him. I meant to pistol him, but okay. Half shot! Oh, that's so awesome. I love it. Alright. Done! And I believe there's two of them here, so we can go and get another. If that one takes me to another island, uh, another island then fine. Let's get a fragment, which is right there. I thought he was going to hop on his ship, but then he just stood there, so I was like, okay. 
Oh, God. My dog just farted. It's disgusting. What? Oh. I'm confused. <laughs> Smuggler chief has crossed the line by selling his stolen goods to the Templars and killing innocent men and women in the process. Take his life so that he may not harm others. You cruel son of a bitch. The smuggler's squat. The sun is coming down right out the window over there and it's in my face and it's just bad. Okay, where is he? Not here. In Anato Bay. Interesting. So I'm gonna have to go down into another thingy magic. Okay, so we'll get the chest. That's all I need, right? Chest and song sheet. Yep, that's all I need. And then we will... I need to lean over my laptop like this to see the leftmost side of my screen. What can I say? I can't afford, like, a professional commentator setup, okay? I make do! Come here, Shanty! I have no idea what you are, but I want you. All right. Whoa! What'd we get? Captain Kidd? I do not know the shanty. Oh, my name was Captain Kidd as I sailed, as I sailed. Oh, my name was Captain Kidd as I sailed. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Now we gotta get this chest, this very last chest, and then we're gonna go and get that assassination contract, which actually we might save for next time. I'm running low on time here. Eh. Alright. I have not 100 percent of the place yet because I haven't gotten the last contract. But we're gonna go do that uh, in the next episode. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying uh, my series of Black Flag shenanigans. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in episode number whatever the heck is next. <laughs> Farewell, friends. This is gonna be like in Amanda ever from Tomb Raider Legend scenario where he's like your best friend and you thought she died. Oh, that is creepy. Oh my god. That is so freaking creepy. Please don't.